<laughs> Watching you film these are so funny to me. Welcome back to the kitchen, guys. Today we're gonna to be making a barbecue chicken pizza, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can eat and alter it just a little bit to make it fit your diet. And if you substitute things like what I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be easier to lose weight slash keep the weight off and still eat your favorite foods. This is literally gonna be a four ingredient pizza, barbecue chicken. Um, we have the cauliflower crust that is 170 calories for a third of this. So if you just imagine a third, that's pretty big slice for just 170. We have some sugar-free classic G Hughes barbecue sauce, two tablespoons for 10 calories. We have some low fat ricotta cheese. I chose this because in my experience, fat-free mozzarella does not really melt that well. And I know this ricotta is gonna spread nicely. That's a quarter of a cup for 60 calories. Guys, two and a half grams of fat, four carbs and six protein. This is gonna fit your macros every time. And then we have this mesquite barbecue classic rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna take the skin off to save a little bit of those fat calories and probably just use mostly the breast, but um, cut it up into chunks. So let's get started. Cue the pizza montage. 425. So that should be about 120 calories in cheese and look at how thick this is, I'm gonna make this a little more savory by adding some garlic powder. Actually make that garlic salt. Give it that pizza taste. Um, probably add some smoked paprika. I'm a big fan and you can't go wrong really. Very smoky flavor. Should do, it's about a half cup of chicken breast. Do want it to cook, so I'm not gonna overdo it with the chicken. If you don't have sugar-free G Hughes, you're, you're not a real gym bro, because everybody knows this sauce goes on everything. If you can actually get it open. What we're gonna do is water it down a little bit so that it's easier to spread out. Now it's much more drizzleable, and we'll just go around. You eat with the eyes first, people. Make sure your food looks good and it'll taste better. Is that true? Yep. Less than 10 minutes and we're done. We just have to put this in the oven, 425 for like 12 to 15 minutes, and we should be good to go. I, on the other hand, am making a prosciutto, pear, and brie, um, truffle brie, and arugula. We're gonna top it with arugula. So definitely more extra, but like I am more extra, so. So although it might not be healthy pizza, still a great life hack uh, just to have these cauliflower crust pizzas. You can pretty much put anything on it. We didn't even buy pizza sauce because I used the ricotta. I feel like that had enough liquid in it. Also the barbecue sauce and you did a butter garlic butter, base. Butter garlic, salt yeah. and pepper. Salt and pepper, oh that's good. I should probably add some. I'm gonna add some pepper. If you don't freshly crack your pepper, um, that's just an L. So I did the calculations and it's about 750 calories for the entire pizza. Um, the biggest thing was definitely the crust. The toppings were like hard, like less than 300 calories of that. Um, so roughly 94 carbs, 23 fat, 42 protein. Well, I probably wouldn't eat the whole pizza, um, but it's definitely a better alternative because I looked up 
on for a Domino's small Memphis barbecue chicken hand tossed crust pizza. <sighs> it's 1400 calories. So I'm essentially at half the calories for a similar size. So um, definitely give this one a try and let's taste test this. So each of these is less than 200 calories and they're like pretty dense. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's like smoky, kind of sweet with the ricotta. And with the barbecue. <coughs> All right, that's it, you guys. If you enjoyed this or took a little inspiration from it, definitely give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know what your favorite pizza topping combinations are. I'll see you guys in the next video. Would really appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, I've been super dedicated to the YouTube channel, and my goal this summer is to post two videos a week. And I've pretty much succeeded all summer long, and it's um, middle of July. So I'm pretty proud of myself about that. Make your goals and stick to them. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.